All right, in this section, we are going to take a look at the sum and difference formulas in trigonometry. So for the sum and difference, so they are adding up two angles. So one is called alpha. This is a Greek letter. This is called alpha. And then this is called beta. So that means in English, alpha means A and then beta means B. So let's take a look at the formula. The first screenshot in the upper left hand corner, we have sine alpha plus beta and then sine alpha minus theta. So for the sum and difference angle, we have two formulas, two for sine, two for cosine and two for tangent. Uh, in your future classes, you will be using the sine and cosine a lot, but the two the, the, the tangent, you won't be using them very often. So let's take a look at the first example. I want to find the exact value of each expression. So the technique is, I gave you a degree, right? If you look at the first problem, I gave you that cosine 165 degree, but cosine 165 degree is not in the unit circle. You don't see that in the unit circle, which is right here. So we have to use the sum or difference formula to break them down so that in into two degrees where we can find in the unit circle. So the first one, the sine 165, I am going to break it down into cosine of 120 degree plus 45 degree because I can find 120 degree in the unit circle and 45 degree in the unit circle. Can you do some other numbers? The answer is of course, yes. As long as the number you pick can be found in the unit circle, then you can use those two numbers. Another question is, can you use minus? Of course, as long as, again, the answer is, as long as the angle can be found in the unit circle, you can get the exact value, then go ahead, use those numbers, right? As long as you can use the unit circle, everything is fine. So we have cosine 120 degree and 45 degree. So let's put the degree back to radian. So 120 degree is 2 pi over 3. So that is negative one half and then root three over two. And then cosine is 45 degree. That is pi over four. We have root two over two, root two over two. And then cosine 165, we have alpha, we have beta. So that is equals to cosine of alpha, which is uh, 120. So we do two pi over three. And then uh, cosine beta, which is pi over 4, 45 degree, plus or minus. So for cosine, the sum of two angles, we have a minus. So minus sine of how many degrees? 120 degree, which is 2 pi over 3. And then cosine, actually it's not a cosine, it's a sine, 45 degree, that is a pi over 4. And then you take the x coordinate, y coordinate, right? Cosine is x, sine is y. So you have negative one half times root two over two, and then minus root three over two times root two over two. And then what is that? That is equal to negative root two divided by four minus Okay, the root 3 and the root 2, they are both wrapped by a square root, so you can multiply the radicand. 3 times 2 is equal to 6, and then this is a 4, so we have a 1 over 4. Uh, actually, you can take the negative out as well, so you have root 2 minus root 6. Do not approximate this final answer. Leave it as it is. You have to find the exact value. Once you approximate, you lose points. Number 2 cosine of 7 pi over 12. So we have cosine of 7 pi over 12. That is number 2. So cosine 7 pi over 12, I'm going to use the same technique. I am going to break it down as 2 quantity uh, in radian where I can find the radian in the unit circle. So what I am looking for is 4 pi over 12 plus 3 pi over 12 and then you will ask me hey they are not in the unit circle yes they are not in the unit circle because i haven't simplified yet so that is cosine pi over 3 plus pi over 4 so now they are in the unit circle so pi over 3 we have a 60 degree so that is one half with 3 divided by 2 pi over 4 that is root 2 divided by 2 root 2 divided by 2 and then you use the cosine plus 
Oh, by the way, speaking of formulas, we have so many formulas in trigonometry. Let's go up to take a look. I have sum and difference formula right here. Don't just, okay, take a look. Okay, yes, the formula is right there. So every time I solve a problem, I will come back to the screenshot. No, 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 no. That is not a right thought. You, I want you to write it down. Okay, just take, just when you start these notes, just put it down. Now it's not too late to put it down. So just don't solve the problem yet. Copy this over to your notebook and then we, we continue. You can pause the video, take a minute to write this down. So we are using the cosine plus. So the cosine plus is right here. We have cosine alpha, cosine beta minus sine alpha, sine beta. So this is my alpha, this is my beta. So you have cosine pi over 3 and then cosine pi over 4 minus sine of pi over 3 and then sine of pi over 4. So that is 1 half times root 2 over 2 minus root 3 divided by 2, root 2 divided by 2. So this is a root 2 divided by 4 minus root 6 divided by 4. So factor out the 1 over 4, you have root 2 minus root 6. So that is your final answer. Or you can leave that as your final answer. Next one, number 3. So number 3, we have a 7 sine, 7 pi over 12. Okay, I'm since that is another 7 pi over 12, so I will break it down to sine of 4 pi over 12 plus 3 pi over 12. And then simplify, so I have sine of pi over 3 plus pi over 4. So this is alpha, this is beta, and then you can use the sum angle formula for sine. So that is equals to sine alpha cosine beta. So sine pi over 3 cosine pi over 4 plus cosine pi over 3 and then sine pi over 4 and then you evaluate right so pi over 3 and pi over 4 right here so just right here i'm going to i'm not going to write it again so you have those coordinates sine i take the y coordinate cosine i take the x coordinate and then plus one half root two over two, so that is a root six divided by four plus root two divided by two. You can take that as a final answer, or you divide by four, or you factor out the four, so that is root six. Oh, actually, no more denominator, right? So let's erase that. So you have a root six plus a root two. So that's the answer to this problem and then the next one the next one we have uh we change the problem slightly so let me use another color for this so number four this time i am giving you multiple terms to start with we start with um sine of 20 degree and then cosine 10 degree plus cosine 20 degree and then sine 10 degree so this one you have alpha beta alpha beta look at the formula you can pause the video and take a look which one should you use the answer is you have to use sine alpha plus beta so overall that is sine of 20 degree plus 10 degree i know 20 and 10 they are not in the unit circle when you add them up they are now in the unit circle. So that is uh, 30 degree. 30 degree is pi over 6. Pi over 6 has a coordinate. What's the coordinate? The coordinate is root 3 divided by 2, 1 half, right? Slime, you take the y coordinate. So that is 1 half. So that's your final answer. And then number 5, you have cosine of 70 degree times cosine of 20 degree minus sine of 70 degree and then sine of 20 degree so that is equals to cosine alpha plus beta so this is my alpha that is my beta alpha and then beta 
just match to the formulas I gave you. So overall, that is equals to cosine 70 plus 20, that equals to 90. So that is cosine of 90 degree. 90 degree is half, half pi, so cosine of pi over 2. That is a point on the y-axis between quadrant 1 and quadrant 2. At that point, x equals to 0, y equals to 1. So this is equal to 0. And then number 6, you have a tangent 20 degree plus tangent 25 degree. They are not in the unit circle, I know. 1 minus tangent 20 degree. And then tangent 25 degree. So that is equal to tangent 20 degree plus 25 degree. So you have tangent of 45 degree, which is a pi over 4, right? So tangent pi over 4. Tangent pi over 4 was the coordinate. The coordinate is root 2 divided by 2, root 2 divided by 2. So overall, you have a y divided by x. So you have a root 2 divided... Oh, I, I don't have to uh, do the scratch work right here. I can just continue in here. So that is a root 2 divided by 2, divided by itself, then that is equal to 1. And then the next one, number 7. We have sine of pi over 12, cosine 7 pi over 12, minus cosine pi over 12, and then sine 7 pi over 12. Take a look, match to the formula. So what do you what do you have? So this one we have sine of alpha beta, right? What's the sign? The sign is minus. What is alpha? So this is alpha beta alpha beta. Then then that is sine of pi over twelve minus seven pi over twelve. That is equals to sine of negative six pi over twelve. Not in the unit circle because you haven't simplified yet. So that is sine of negative pi over 2. So negative pi over 2, that is a 90 degree clockwise. So 90 degree clockwise right here. So at that point, what do you have? You have x equals to 0, y equals to negative 1. And then sine is y. So that is negative 1. And then the last one, let's... Do it right here. So the last one we have. We have a cosine pi over 12 and a cosine phi pi over 12 plus sine of 5 pi over 12 and then sine of pi over 12. So take a look, what formula is this? This one is cosine pi over 12 minus 7 pi over 12, right? So that is equals to negative 6 pi over 12, which is similar to the one that we just did, but except that is a cosine, which is a cosine negative pi over 2. So we use the same coordinate, but this time we are taking x coordinate. So that is equal to 0. So let me go back to check the numbering. Just want to make sure I solve all the problems. So cosine, cosine, and then a sine. And then this one, cosine, tangent. We have one more problem to go, right? Or did I miss anything? Oh. 6, 7, this one is problem 8. I did not miss any problem. Alright, so that will be all in this lesson. I will catch you all in the next part.